So one of the most important parts of uh, Krav Maga is having accurate, like real strikes or work in a real situation. So what Ms. Murray's gonna do is she needs to work on accurate strikes for when she catches um, the arm with the knife in it, what strikes she can actually really use. Because if she's not controlling the arm 100% with both of her arms, and I'm pulling back at full speed, she's gonna lose the arm, lose the most dangerous thing that's in the situation, and it's, the knife will come back at her again. So I'm gonna go over the concept with you a little bit, and then we'll do a little more of a real action of it. So what I mean by this is when I'm slicing down, Miss Murray's gonna come inside and block, Boom, moving up the arm to control, both hands are grabbing on. From here, when I go to tug, her hands better be holding on. So from here, she will start striking, using the knees, headbutts, until I drop the weapon. Then she can separate and move, okay? So. Okay team, you saw yesterday's knife video. I actually end up taping a knife to the end of our lightsaber because I want to teach you guys the accuracy of how to get up the arm, boom, controlling the person and then throwing strikes. So today we're gonna to shadow box for 60 seconds is how to hold onto the arm, keep it tight to us as we fire strikes low. We're using every strike we can use except for our elbows and our hands. Right now, we have to control the arm that's holding the knife on it, hold on for dear life and nothing happens. So, once I block, I collect that knife to my chest. I'm gonna use headbutts, knees, kicks to the leg, I'm gonna stomp down across the person's shins, but that's our combination. So let's make it easy today, let's make an easy one, okay? From here, whichever leg is closest to your, your attacker, closest to the handle down here, I want you to throw some knees first. Throw those knees up, okay? So you throw that knee, I want you to change, call it an oblique kick. So you turn your foot sideways, like you're scraping down in front of something, okay? So one to two, so one, two. Okay, team? Person's not really like cooperating just yet, because they won't be. We're going to knee, kick, headbutt. Person will be really close to you. Their arm is right there, so you can get the crown strong part of my head. And I'm striking forward, but I never let go of the arm. So we're going to do knee, hopefully kick, bring the headbutt down. Then again, you can use the opposite leg. I can knee here, I can kick across the body, just drive my headbutt there. Doesn't matter. Okay, now remember, team, we blocked on this side on the last drill. Here, when we end up on the opposite side of the person's body, my right hand's still high, left hand's still low, and my other foot is in front. Last time we were here, my right foot was closer to my opponent because we're blocking a knife on this side. Now my left foot's closer to my opponent. Okay, team? So from here, use the best motion you don't have. Hold on to that weapon. Knees first. Kick, headbutt. Whatever you have to do, ready and again. Then you start with the headbutt if you want, whatever you feel is the best for you, ready? Okay, don't let go of the weapon. Don't get in the habit of letting your hands fly and move away from your chest. Hug it really tight. If you notice when I hold onto it, the lightsaber bends just that little bit. I'm holding on for my life, okay? Holding on tight. And. Okay, team? So, that is a drill you can do with any object at home. It doesn't have to be soft. It can be a broomstick that you're holding on to. Just make sure you know your techniques. And blocking, controlling, uh, the hands collecting into my chest. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, make sure you go back and watch the videos from the last week. We've done a lot of in-depth stuff with our knife defenses. So, this is just having me drilling the very, very end. If you do a fantastic job, blocking the attacker, controlling that arm against your chest, but then you don't strike, or you, or you grab the arm and let go of it because you want to punch, that knife's gonna hurt you. So you gotta control that, okay? Keep your life safe, okay? Train for reality. Have a little fun with this one today, guys. If you have a partner at home, it's even better, but if you don't have a partner, you can train for reality, something like this, okay? Good luck with your training team.